Striker Scorpion 82 is now sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards, a card battle game featuring your favourite Citadel miniatures from the 40k universe. Build your army decks, dominate opponents in player versus player action, collect and upgrade cards to fit your strategy, improve their power and unlock unique traits. Choose from all 40k factions, take part in campaigns based on iconic 40k battles, rise to the top of the leaderboard and win glory. Free to download and play, link is in the video description below or on the channel homepage and by using the unique link it helps support the channel. Thanks and enjoy the game. Right, welcome to this channel update video. Uh, the idea of this is just to keep, give you an idea of what's going on, what's planned hopefully uh, for the future, and it'll be an update for uh, here on YouTube and over on the Plus channel as well, just gonna lump the whole thing together. And it'll also be a faction update as well, just to let you know what's going on uh, with all of the factions and the new armies that are on the way as well. So we'll talk a little bit about 9th edition. I hope you've enjoyed the 9th edition content that's been coming out on the channel. Uh, if you haven't done so already, if you haven't subscribed to the channel here, then hit the subscribe button uh, just to keep track of content coming through. Uh, and also uh, there's a little bell button, notification uh, button, that'll notify you as soon as the video uh, goes live. Uh, as well and then if you're not already following me on Instagram, uh, Instagram is a great platform for sort of visual uh, photographs and so on so when we play games uh, I take loads of photographs and then share on Instagram uh, updates from the painting desk units that have just been painted up um, as well and then if there's big video releases like battle reports and so on uh, I'll post that on there as well just as a way to remind you uh, of videos let you know what's going on as videos are released but Instagram has been a great platform uh, so if you're not following there already uh, then follow me there as uh, links for that is just in the video description below you'll find a link to Instagram uh, just in the description uh, of this video so 9th edition as uh, I've enjoyed the games so far that we've filmed uh, so there's a couple here on YouTube we've done one on the plus channel and there's, there's others on the way uh, for both the website and for here on YouTube as well. Um, I'd say it's a bit more complicated than uh, 8th edition. Uh, terrain, more complicated, there's more to learn with terrain, but there's more, you can immerse yourself with the terrain a bit more, there's a bit more depth to it, so that's fine. Uh, and then the missions as well, I reckon, are a bit more complicated. Uh, the way you score your points and so on. I hope you can learn it all and get fluent at doing it, but there's a bit more effort required uh, with that. As well, but gameplay wise, other than that's pretty much uh, as this is the same kind of level as 8th edition. So I've enjoyed 8th uh, edition, pretty good. Uh, and so looking forward to working our way through the missions and then this game's actually will expand out uh, with the different missions uh, as they make those available. So I realise a lot of people getting back into the hobby and 9th edition has been an excuse to jump back into 40k. Uh, so just trying to kick out a nice lot of 9th edition content for you all to enjoy, lots of reviews and so on. Uh, and then the battle reports as well. It gives you a good idea of how the game works. So that's 9th edition. Then uh, for the Plus channel, it's good news for those that are waiting for the iOS app. So for Android, it's already available. Uh, and then uh, for iOS, it's like 99% finished. Just a few final bits to clarify and finish off with Apple. Uh, and then once that's approved, then uh, the app can proceed. So keep a lookout for that, uh, which is good news for those who use uh, the iOS uh, system on their mobile phone um, so there's uh, that and then uh, we've been running on the on the plus channel running a series called the big push and that's where we've got some factions that we're trying to push as quick as possible to get them up to uh, 2,000 points limit and to get them onto the battlefield and then to see them in our challenge scorpion games and then to see them uh, mainly for the league as well number of factions trying to get into the league uh, so we can see them in action uh, as, as complete armies this season. So those armies are at the moment uh, So I've got my secret army which you'll know what that is if you're on the plus channel So working on that and there is a thousand point game available for them already So they've reached the sort of the halfway stage uh, Then the Harlequins Which I'm working on at the moment they were Hardly started and then I really pushed to get them to a thousand points. We played a thousand point game with them Which is great. I literally got to paint about 10 more models and I can get those uh, to 1500 points which is another massive milestone uh, and then 
Uh, Tom Covey, his Corn Demon Army, which we've seen in a few games. I think there's one on YouTube here as well. I've seen those in action, which is great. Uh, it's, they're getting close to finishing, so I hope to enter them into the league. It'd be great to see these new factions entering in, uh, just to add some more variety uh, to our Season 8 battle reports. Uh, and then, <clears throat> as Aaron Allen has his Death Watch Army, which again, now is very close. It's like a massive revamp that he's done uh, on his Death Watch Army. That's virtually finished as well, which is really, really good news. We've played a couple of games uh, with them as well. And then, I think I'm allowed to tell you, Tom Covia is working on Sisters, the brand new Sisters of Battle. Uh, he's working on an army of those, uh, and we'll try and just accelerate and get them on into our games. Uh, we'll try and put those through uh, the Big Push series as well. So if you're on the Plus channel already, keep a look out for Sisters of Battle uh, making their appearance as well. And the order that we do it, uh, the big milestone to aim for is a thousand points. We play a thousand point game, then 1500 points, and the reckon for season uh, or for uh, ninth edition will go with 2000 points as our standard army size. And the final milestone uh, will be uh, 2000 points. And either we'll play that as a big push final battle or they'll go straight out into uh, our main battles. But it's just this big incentive just to try and when you've got a deadline to aim for and like a a reward for reaching a milestone it can really help accelerate you and motivate you to get stuff painted up so it's been good for us as hobbyists just to try and get our armies done uh, and then good for the channel as well just to add to the variety of different factions that are available so uh, exciting stuff you can uh, go on the plus channel and there is a tab called uh, league uh, and that's you don't have to sign in to see that anyone can go on there and have a look at that the link for the plus channel is in the video description below uh, but you just click on the league tab and that'll give you the status of all the armies at what stage they're over their battle ready or halfway there or finishing touches whatever stage uh, they're at will be indicated uh, and then there's a full league table with all the results and the point scores and so on uh, for our season eight battle reports that's available for everybody so you can go and check that out now uh, to see the current situation uh, some people have been asking about how you're going to uh, calculate victory points now uh, with 9th edition the point scores being way higher than what you'd usually score in 8th edition so I reckon what we're going to do is uh, take the final score for our 9th edition games and just divide the score by 3 I think will be fair so if you score uh, 90 points you know, which is a crazy amount compared to 8th edition uh, in a 9th edition game then just divide that by 3 and it'll be 30 points scored instead of 90 I think we'll play it that way and that should make things a bit fairer and then hopefully if we go into season 9 then it can just be all 9th edition and all the factions uh, will have the same chance of scoring uh, the new points values for missions in 9th edition so you know season 8 the battle reports taken a bit of a hit this year <laughs> you know, it's been a global pandemic which has disrupted things obviously uh, for everybody uh, and then also you know 9th edition's arrived which is uh, it's going to play around with the balance of things as well. So we're still going to run it. The idea uh, with the league now taking a, a, a short break, and that's coming to an end soon, uh, hopefully. And what we're focusing on is the big push battle reports over on the Plus channel. So sort of surging ahead to try and get these factions done. Uh, and then with 9th edition arriving, then on YouTube, we're playing some warm-up games for 9th edition. So just matching up some factions, a bit of practice for the players. Uh, so we're not diving straight into the league. I want to give the yep, factions that haven't played yet and ones that still have games to play a, a, a chance uh, and not be caught out with a, a brand new rule system and then that uh, has a detrimental effect on their chances. So I think it's a good idea just to, some warm up games mostly on YouTube and then pushing with the, uh, the big push battle reports uh, with these new factions coming through on the plus channel. So battle reports available uh, for everybody to enjoy. Uh, there's two different themes going on, uh, one on the website and then one on, here on YouTube. But uh, that's sort of coming to sort of gradually, we're gradually heading towards the league coming back on again. Uh, I want to push forward uh, with the current factions and the new factions getting their games in, all, all the factions playing three games. And then as we get uh, towards the two thirds of the way, I reckon about September -y kind of time, uh, we'll start to uh, finalize the results and then head into new territory which is a full-on knockout stage and it's either going to be the top eight armies or the top 16 not sure my I'm tempted to go for top 16 just to you know really add some nice little variety all the top eight depending on what the time frame will be and then those armies are going to be uh, you know a random draw 
pretty much a random draw because uh, there'll be a, a few adjustments. I don't want too many Imperial armies clashing with each other. I want mostly Imperial against Xenos and Chaos just to, for the narrative side of things. Uh, and then that will be a knockout stage. So some hopefully some really tense games of where you must win, otherwise you're out of the league. And gradually if we play eight games or eight factions go through, it's going to be four games. Then the winners of that will go through and it'll be a playoff. And then finally we'll get to, through to the final, uh, all being well at the end of this year, 2020. And the league's open for any of the factions. Everything's been turned on its head now. And uh, with these new factions come through, uh, and even at the beginning of Season 8 here, we've seen the dominant factions being defeated, like the Tau. Uh, have had a rough time. Uh, other factions have struggled. The Eldar have struggled. And then ones that haven't really had much of a chance before, because they, they just weren't getting as many games, like the Drakari, for example. Um, Thousand Sons as well. Uh, all getting an equal chance to play their games, and we've seen those factions actually perform very well. So, and Space Wolves doing excellent as well. So, I think at the moment it's Drakari, Space Wolves, Thousand Sons, Admech, uh, all those armies uh, doing very, very well. So, it's great to see everything just really mixed up. It just adds or makes a, a nice variety uh, to our season battle reports. So, on the back of that, we've added all the games that we played so far, and then you know, an imminent return to the league as we push forwards with that. Uh, I was planning to do a separate video, but I'll announce it here. Uh, what I've made available is what I've called a season ticket. Uh, and that means that uh, the season eight battle reports uh, are available uh, to buy as a bundle on the Plus channel, just by themselves. And this is a one-off purchase. Um, so it's, there's no monthly subscription, there's no recurring fee, uh, and it doesn't recur each each year. You just the idea of the season ticket is you get your ticket uh, for the whole of the season eight battle reports, and then that means you get access to uh, all the season eight battle reports on the plus channel, and then any new ones that are added as the season goes on, they just added to that list, and you instantly gain access to them as well. And what the season ticket means is you've got uh, half of the season eight battle reports on YouTube, and then you then get access with the season ticket to all of the season eight battle reports over on the plus channel as well which means you don't miss any of the action you get to see all the battle reports every single episode going all the way through uh, to the final at the end of the year because i am aware that there's some people don't want to subscribe to the whole plus channel uh some don't like to have uh, a monthly sign up fee uh, for all of the content and there's a lot of people that say well I just want to just want to see the battle reports this season so what I've done is created this season ticket and that means that you're only getting the battle reports and it's like a cut down price as well so hopefully it makes it uh, more of an option uh, for people to sign up and enjoy those games and so it's, it's one-off purchase no recurring fee so it's just a, a one-time uh, expense and then uh, you have access to those videos for the entire season and, and forever. It just, it just continues on and you can access those videos at any point. So if that interests you, uh, it's just creating more options now for the Plus Channel just to try and diversify it a bit. Uh, so the way the Plus Channel operates now, you've got the monthly subscription fee, which is for a small amount each month. You just gain access to the entire channel. So that's all of the resources. So uh, you know the painted tutorials, and the battle reports, or the whole battle report library, uh, and all the contents, instant access to all of that. Uh, then there is the yearly subscription fee, uh, so that gives you uh, it's 12 months the price of 10, so it's like a cut down price, and again, uh, that's just a, a once a year cost, and then again, you get access to everything. But now there's the season ticket, so it specifically it just gives you access to the season eight battle reports, uh, but then what that means is I've, I've cut the price right down that. And you can, if you want bad reports and that's what you want to focus on, uh, then the season ticket may well be the option that you want to go for. So to access that, just head over to the Plus channel. Uh, as you scroll down uh, in the library there, you will see, or the playlists, you'll see uh, bad reports library. Each season uh, has uh, a tab that you can click on. Uh, and you want to click on season eight bad reports. And then... Uh, gain access now I think the tab says and uh, as you scroll down you'll see the season ticket option uh, and then that will give you access to uh, that playlist and then you can watch all the bad reports that are on there already and then as soon as one's uploaded and becomes available uh, then you can just go on to that playlist and you'll be able to watch uh, the new bad reports as they come along so I reckon I'm going to play the knockout stage split all the bad reports on both 
on the YouTube and on the Plus channel. Uh, so if you don't want to miss any of the action, there may be the season ticket for season eight battle reports. Uh, it may well be something you want to go for. And what you do is it helps out the channel, it helps you produce the videos, and then you can enjoy all of the action from our season battle reports. So I hope all that makes sense uh, for you. Uh, leave a, uh, a comment in the, sec in the comment section below if there's anything you need to ask. Uh, but uh, season eight battle reports season ticket is now live and available so uh, then so YouTube I've uh, covered all of that what the, we're planning to do yeah it's covered so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through the factions uh, and give you an update of what's going on for them again you go on to uh, the plus channel click on uh, league and then uh, at the top there it gives you the status of all the armies what stage they're at and which ones are about already and so on so uh, you can check that out for a quick update. I'm going to run through it here. So in no particular order, Necrons first. As uh, incredible models that Games Workshop have been releasing. Uh, I plan to paint all of the ones from the Indomitus box set and to really revamp the Necron army. I think they've played two league games already. So I'm going to pause with them for a little bit and try and inject some of the new models in and, and go for a, a list and then let them continue on in the league. Uh, but the ultimate aim, I think, with the Necrons is to sort of really revamp the army and try and make it a big showcase uh, for the new units coming through. An am amazing sculpting work. I'm more excited about the Necron units than the Space Marine ones. So it's been great, uh, the new productions that Games Workshop have done. So that's the update for the Necrons. And I want them to do well. They're doing well in the league. So uh, hopefully we'll see a lot more of them uh, in the future. And uh, this... The 9th edition games that we've been playing is featuring Necrons, so if you want to see how Necrons perform and see them in 9th edition battle reports, then check out the recent games uh, here on the channel. So, exciting stuff for the Necrons, for sure, and an army I really like. Done a painting tutorial for them as well, if you like the look of the Necrons, then the painting tutorial for that is live here on YouTube uh, for you. So I paint the Scorpec, Scorpec Lord, that's the one that I paint up in that video. Space Marines next. Uh, so, what I should do is, we'll talk about these first of all, so the Imperial Fists. So, it made a bit of a decision with the Imperial Fists, and it might it'll annoy some people maybe, and uh, it may well make a lot of people happy. I'm going to stick with classic <laughs> Space Marines for the Imperial Fists. Um, I'm going to focus on Primaris for my other Imperial or Space Marine factions like uh, the Red Scorpions for example uh, But I'm going to go Classic Marines for the Imperial Fists. A couple of reasons for that uh, I really like Classic Marines. Uh, there's no reason why you can't play Classic Marines uh, and I want to do something to uh, Keep Classic Marines in the loop and not just go Primaris and just gradually see these guys disappear I don't want that to happen. So um, I'm going to go Classic Marines with the Imperial Fists um, and I've got a new list drawn up 2,000 points to 9th edition. I think it's pretty good. I think it should be pretty strong. Uh, and the great news is I've, I've got the models for it already. So it's a case of fielding the army. And these haven't played any games yet for our Season 8 battle reports. So a chance to get the Imperial Fists into action uh, sooner than anticipated. Had bought a load of Primaris stuff. I'm just going to divert that away from the Imperial Fists and put it into uh, perhaps the Red Scorpions uh, and other... Uh, Space Marines, such as the Blood Angels, I've got a bit of uh, Primaris mixed in with them. Uh, but I'm going to go Classic Marines for the Imperial Fists, and uh, I, I like the look of the list uh, that's been put together. So if you're on the Plus channel, keep a look out for that list coming up in an Army Development video. Uh, that's where the list will be open for discussion and changes and so on, a chance to see it uh, first uh, before it reaches YouTube. But that's the idea of the Imperial Fists. Same so with the Red Scorpions, uh, I've got a number of other factions I'm working on at the moment, so they're sort of gone on the back, back burner a little bit, uh, but if I do make progress with them, the idea of the Red Scorpions is to go pure Primaris uh, and to make it a kind of a, a Dakar firepower type army and nicely themed uh, for the Red Scorpions. So, I'll update you with, with James, Tom, Aaron as well uh, after I've gone through these. So next one, no particular order here, is the Harlequins. So the army's reached halfway, 
which is a, a massive milestone since the last update. They were still hardly started them. Uh, but now I've got all six of the vehicles, the skimmers virtually finished. Uh, working away on the infantry characters, getting them done. So I've gone past or reached, virtually gone past a uh, thousand points and then heading towards 1500 points now for the Harlequins. Uh, and so you can keep a look out for these fights, not on YouTube yet, but they'll be fighting away on the Plus channel uh, in the near future or being well. And the next stage for them is 1500 points game. Not sure who against, maybe against the Death Watch again. <laughs> maybe. Uh, if you watch that better report, you know why. Um, but we'll see. It's open to, for them to play against anybody. But it'd be great to see the Harlequins getting finished and into our Season 8 league. Um, and yeah, this week with these, very soon, there's an army adjustment video. So brand new lists, final, finalised, but proposed for them uh, on the Plus channel just to, to get them uh, organised and ready for Night Edition. Same with the Thousand Sons. Uh, I've done an army adjustment video. So two lists updated for Night Edition for these two factions. Thousand Sons, I've adjusted the army, they're ready to fight and hope to film some battle reports, maybe some warm-up games of them very soon. Uh, but it's no real change of them, just updating the list and I've tried to keep it pretty much as they were, but well, I have had to remove some uh, units because of the points increases uh, for the Thousand Sons. But can't wait to use these again and we'll see how well they do in ninth edition. Their next craft worlds for the Eldar, so uh, I'm going to take a big long look at my current list. I reckon with ninth edition now, uh, there'll be some pretty, there'll be some changes for sure. Things won't continue on as they were uh, for the Eldar. And it may well be a chance to experiment, change things around, have some fun with the Eldar uh, with them. So too much to report with those. Just some experimentation, I think, with the Eldar. Uh, is due and then next is the Tyranids they have sh struggled yet again uh, they've had a rough time in the, <laughs> in the league I think they've got a game in hand so a chance for them to shine uh, I'll see about their list uh, and adjusting it for night for addition I think there's some strong areas of strength in it but again some areas for improvement as well so some thinking to do with the Tyranids I really want them to do well uh, but they are struggling at the moment, at least. One day, one day there'll be a, an army to be feared. Next is the Imperial Knights. They've played all of their league games, and again, they've had a, a rough time uh, for our Season 8 battle reports. But it's not over for them. I can put them into Challenger Scorpion games, some warm-up games, perhaps for Ninth Edition. So, uh, and Imperial Knights, that army's virtually finished. Next is the... I'll mention they don't have the codex to hand, so just whilst I remember the Tau. Uh, again, it's another army that's going to... I'm going to revamp the list and have a think about them. Yeah, some decisions to make about the Tau, so... Uh, that's an army to take a fresh look at. As well, I can't... I don't know you can go tight gun line and pack everything in. With Knight Edition now, you need to be able to spread out and hold various objectives if you're to stand a chance of the way the new missions work, so... Some thinking to do with the Tau for sure. Uh, Adeptus Mechanicus. I need to trim the army down. I know there's going to be some shrinkage, perhaps some serious shrinkage for them uh, as that faction gets updated. Uh, but generally want to stick to the current list that I have. I reckon uh, the, you know, the current theme uh, and then get that updated and revamped for ninth edition. Then the Drakari, a faction that's been performing very, very well. I think they're top of the league at the moment, so they've They've got some, had some great victories and uh, scored a ton of points. They've got themselves nicely ahead. Um, so I want to see these do well. So I'll be careful if I adjust, or I'll have to adjust the list, but I'll be careful the way I adjust the list uh, for these just to make sure uh, that they're not too badly weakened. We'll see what happens with the Chikari, uh, but they should make it through. No problem to the knockout stage of the season. Then the Blood Angels next, which is... Uh, it comes as a surprise to a lot of people that have done well in the league, which has been great to see them performing well. And again, I've got to think carefully about how we're going to adjust these. Uh, maybe Storm Raven Gunship a bit more viable now with the ability to go for strategic reserves, but with the point shrinkage and the Storm Raven Gunship being very, very expensive, I don't think I'm going to be running two of them anymore. But we'll see. So these these uh, 
adjustments here. What, I'm playing, what I usually do when a new edition comes along is make an army adjustment video. So if the list is pretty tight, pretty good, I'll just adjust it. And then I'll, I'll usually do like two factions in one video on the plus channel, uh, just to make the video more interesting and just condense it all into one video for two factions just to get them updated. So you keep a look at all those factions there, uh, getting their adjustments uh, on the plus channel before uh, they're let loose on YouTube. Space Wolves, I think they're second at the moment in the league. They've done really, really well. And again, mostly, all well, the games that they've been playing for, uh, for 8th edition, uh, or for Season 8 battle reports uh, for these, has been Classic Marines. And they've been doing just fine. So it's great to see the Space Wolves doing well. That's been one of the benefits for Season 8. We've tried to make it that all the armies play an equal number of games. And that's the first time we've done that on the channel. It seems to have worked out really well. We've had some great combinations we've never seen before. Uh, and it's meant that everyone has an equal chance uh, of trying to win the league, which is fair and therefore more fun. And it's annoying for people if you're a follower on the channel and say you love Drakari and they're hardly ever seen. It's tra it is a tragedy. So it's been a good opportunity to let everyone have an equal chance. Uh, Orcs then. With them, uh, brand new list was proposed, which I still like, so it's on the plus channel at the moment. I plan to adjust that and then get them uh, stuck in for our season eight battle reports. I haven't played any games yet, so we're keeping an eye out for the Orcs uh, making their comeback. It's been a while. Gut Ripper seems to always be last for some reason. It takes a while for him to get his boys organized. Uh, but when they do arrive, <laughs> there's this trouble with the Orcs. So we've got some, hopefully, uh, some good games lined up uh, for the Orcs. Uh, for our Season 8 bad reports. And obviously all those Orc games are going to be uh, Ninth Edition games when they become available. Uh, so then there's, uh, for my factions, that's all of those. Then there's the Secret Army. I can't show you the codex for that here, but um, progress has been made with the Secret Army. Uh, the Thousand Points game is available uh, on the Plus channel in our Big Push series. Uh, and then it won't take too much effort to get them to 1500 points, I don't think, and then push them on to 2000, so exciting stuff. I've got two other secret projects lined up, so it'd be great to get this army finished, uh, and then maybe push out and get into uh, some more secret project ideas. So there's a few others then, uh, Aaron and Steph watch, the update with them is that they're virtually battle ready. Uh, they've played a number of big push battle reports, and so we're looking uh, for the return of the Death Watch Space Marines uh, to our Season 8 battle reports. Uh, Tom's Corn Demon Army, which has burst onto the channel, he's painted it up really quick. It's virtually ready, so we're looking forward to seeing them in the league. Uh, yeah, you know, the official games for the league coming up soon. They've got three games to play. Uh, then uh, I've covered my secret army, covered the. Uh, so then. That's Harlequin Sisters of Battle. Tom's working on Sisters of Battle. I'm not sure what level he's at with those at the moment, but again, he's making pretty fast progress with them. Uh, so it'd be great to see those. I, whether they make it to Season 8, I don't know, but we'll see what happens with them. But it's something to keep a lookout for. Sisters of Battle potentially on the horizon. Uh, and then James, from what he's telling me, for Ultramarines and Guard. So far, they've played a game each in the league. Uh, so James has two games left to play with the Guard. Two games left to play with the Ultramarines. Uh, so a good chance for him to, to work his way up the league uh, with them if they perform well. Uh, he plans to adjust the Imperial Guard and get them out. And with the, with the Ultramarines, uh, he loves the new models and he's determined to get more Primaris. So he's working away at stuff. So you may well see a new list uh, featuring some of the new Indomitus models and so on. And other Primaris units added in uh, to his Ultramarines army. And the return of Gilliman as well so that is the update for all of the factions uh, please leave your comments below uh, and then just to summarize plus channel users keep a look out for the ios app i'll make an announcement when that becomes available hopefully soon uh, the season ticket is now available uh, so you just head over to the plus channel uh, it's battle reports library click on season eight battle reports uh, and then uh, you click on that you've got your purchase or access now button and then it gives you all the different ways uh, that you can access uh, those bad reports and if you scroll down there is the opportunity for that one-off one-time purchase of no recurring fee and that gives you access to all the season 8 bad reports the ones that exist and then all the ones that are going to be added uh, all being well 
later on. That means you won't miss any of the action for the entire season. You get all of the YouTube videos and then all of those videos on the Plus channel. It means you just help out with the Plus channel as well. It just helps me create uh, more uh, videos for everyone to enjoy. Uh, and then on YouTube, sort of saying that the theme at the moment is uh, some warm up games for Note Edition in the immediate future. And then uh, over on the Plus channel, these big push battle reports as we see these new factions being pushed into the uh, getting ready uh, to fight at 2000 points. We're trying to push ahead and get them done. Uh, that's the theme that's going on at the moment on the Plus channel, plus these army adjustment and army development videos coming through as we get all these factions ready uh, to continue the fighting with the new edition of Warhammer 40,000. So I thought I'd make the update video just to let you know what's going on uh, and what's planned. That's it. Keep a look out for more content on the channel and on the website. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.